Today we discuss about effect of weak field cube field, weak cubic crystal field on S and P and D and F orbital. We already know what is the S orbital, what is the P orbital, and what is the D orbital, what is the F orbital. But here is about the terms. So when a free metal ion is subjected to a inter electronic repulsion, it gives terms. I already told you. And these terms undergoes split up into the some energy levels due to the crystal field such as octahedral and tetrahedral. These crystal fields only some pet small perturbation uh, terms generated from the configuration. So the inter electronic repulsions are more compared with the crystal field. So this crystal field is more compared with the spin orbital coupling. So here the important regarding to the uh, splitting of terms in the crystal field is called as uh, crystal field is Schumann effect. So the overall definition is the chemical environment does not interact uh, directly with the electron spins uh, and hence uh, the spin velocity of parent term is lifted by the applications of crystal field. In the last class I discussed about the Raka parameters and spin orbital coupling parameters. So they have some energy gaps. So the how the chemical environment is does not interaction directly with the electron spin and hence the spin velocity of a parent term. For example, it is triplet F or triplet singlet D or triplet P. So they have the particular the spin velocity is not give the exact which is the ground state which is the exited state. According to the Hund's rules, the highest spin velocity is the ground state. Again, that uh, lowest spin velocity is the exited state. But in this case of triplet uh, F and triplet uh, singlet D, so they have uh, some energy gap. So that's why that uh, triplet F is the ground state, and next singlet D, uh, the next is triplet P. So here we discuss about the terms. S term is an S term is an orbitally not non degenerate why right? because it is a spherical in shape so there is no splitting of power further so there is l is equal to zero the optical angular momentum the small l you already know the small l is the quantum number of the s orbital is zero two into zero plus one is nothing but one so here the similar for the s orbital the crystal field uh, is, is considered as a lifting of uh, orbital degeneracy it cannot split why because it is a spherical in shape so they give the symmetry of these species is for this S term is A1G, A means singlet, A1G, only one orbital is there S orbital, Z is called as here is garide, garide means symmetrical structure, octahedral is a symmetrical structure whereas tetrahedral does not have symmetrical structure so we get only does not write the Z, only write A1. So the, uh, what about the P term? So we already know the P term. P term is orbital degenerate with uh, L is equal to 1 that uh, orbital degeneracy. The small L value of the P orbital is uh, 1. 2 into 1 plus 1 is nothing but 3. So we have 3 orbitals is there. Px and Py and Pz. So here there is 1 to 1 corresponding between the P terms. Uh, uh, and p orbital since the p orbital does not split in the presence of crystal field uh, p or p, p term and also does not uh, does not split in the remaining in the typical degenerate levels in in both octahedral and tetrahedral field so in the symmetrical structure of the, the octahedral structure we can write t1g if I cause the px p orbital is three orbitals so it's triplets px and py and pz so write triplet is t and t1g is octahedral or tetrahedral t1u is g is garide and u is ungaried so whereas about to go for the d term in the presence of the crystal field d orbital split up into doubly generated is you already know the d orbitals in the phi orbitals these phi orbitals three are in between um, axis the lobes are in between axis two are along axis these two are called as eg and the remaining three are called as t2g level so the d term also split up into doubly degenerated as eg level can we write the term symbols we can write capital letters whereas um, uh, orgel diagrams you can write only the uh, capital letters so we small easy you can we write capital easy 
and the triplet degenerates T2G level. So in the octahedral field, easy go for the highest high level. Why? Because these easy levels are easy orbitals are lobes are along axis. The ligand also approach along axis. So the easy orbital go for high level. T2G go for low level. In tetrahedral, we already know in the first semester we discuss about the tetrahedral structures. So we as a cube and you draw the octahedral uh, tetrahedral structure in that particular cube. All the ligands are in between axes, so the T2G orbitals are lobes are in between axes. So these T2G orbitals are go for high level compared with the EG level. So in the tetrahedral, it does not have the symmetrical structure. It does not write the Z term. It is nothing but called keraid. Whereas D orbital L value is two, the degeneracy is two into L plus one. It is the five is the degeneracy. Again, we go for the uh, term consider. Particular the D2 term. I was in the previous class, previous slide. I told about that uh, D1 configuration. Whereas D1 we get the uh, double D and double D. So only we uh, need this uh, term double D for the D1 configuration. So here we consider the D2 term derived from the D1 configuration. D double D and it is split up into E G and T2G in octahedral, whereas according to the whole formation D9 is whole reverse. So the case so it is also double D. This is the easy is the high level, and here easy is the low level. So this is the difference between D1 and D9. So the whole whole is reverse. So here the electron is here one electron and one hole here as one electron and a hole. So here the relationship with the ground state of the D term for the Various configurations can be as specified put up in the diagram of D term arise from D n and D five plus n. It is nothing but D one and D plus five plus one is nothing but D six. So it are the identical and reverse to the D five n minus n and D ten minus n configurations. So splitting diagrams of the tetrahedral are exactly reverse for the splitting pattern of the octahedral. So according to the formula. D n and D five plus n is nothing but D one and D six as plane splitting are identical, whereas D five uh, minus n and D ten minus n it is nothing but D four and D nine same splitting. Again, we uh, D one and D nine these are two are reverse and D four and D six are reverse. So reverse plan reverse same term but different day splitting. So we these three points are put in your mind you don't go for the confuse we can draw that diagrams of orbital diagrams again here we get f uh, tells about the f term is orbital degeneracy it's the l value of the f term is 3 when that again the small l value of f orbital also 3 2 into 3 plus 1 is nothing but 7 so the f term splits into the same way of the f orbital splits in the crystal field so f orbital in the octahedral field a1g a2g t2g and t1g we have seven orbitals so a is nothing but singlet triplet and triplet 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 three plus three one six and one seven so this this is a special we does not uh, pre discuss in the previous so we, we simply by heart so how about you the energy gap here we does not bother about that only we uh, think about that splittings a2g t2g and t1g for the f orbital for the octahedral by in the presence of an octahedral split to be to the three levels this triplet t1g triplet t2g levels and singlet a2g levels f term also split three levels in the presence of octahedral but the splitting is reversed to the for the f orbital f orbital difference f term is different so the d2 configuration we have already know for the d2 configuration in the previous i discuss about the d2 configuration is um, what is the d2 configuration so triplet f is the uh, triplet triplet f is the term so this triplet f term for the d2 configuration whereas A reverse means here the orbital is a two g t two g and t one g. Reverse means the ground state is capital t one g. In orbital diagrams, you can write the capital letters only. 
T1G, the next one is T2G and A2G. So again the energy level. So how much is plus 6 dQ and plus 2 and plus 10. So again I already told uh, the D2 configuration and uh, the previous slide I will do the D2 and D5, Dn and D5 plus N. D2 and 5 plus 2 may nothing but D7. So these two are splitting are identical. Identical means that they same. So here the triplet F is there. Whereas uh, D7, I mean that in the previous class I told you that D7 and D3 and D7 both are same. But here the term is quadrat F. So the here it is triplet F and quadrat F but term is same F term so this F term is pretty the same identical so T1G, T2G and A2G okay